Okay, so, yes, I got a baggie for the uh, things that Chris Jericho comes with. Uh, yes, I actually got this for a late birthday present. And yes, this is the Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled Collection Chris Jericho figure. Um, this is him wearing a purple leather jacket and gloves and, well, shoes. Um, here's the side. The back. With Chris Jericho and De the side again. And a little picture of Chris Jericho there. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he looks like. In 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. So Chris Jericho comes with... One, two, three, three, four hands, and a little AEW microphone. So, we will take a look at, at the figure last. Let's just look at the accessories he comes with. So, he got the... Uh... Boop, finger, you know, like, or just the little Roman Reigns with the ones bloodline pose. The hand holding Jester, like, you know, where he's holding the, the microphone. And by the way, this is is actually my second um Chris Jericho figure. My first one when he was in WWE. I bought that like oh seven years ago. But yep, that is the uh hands he comes with. Now let's look at the figure itself. Alrighty guys here here is the figure itself. It is pretty cool. Look at the shoes. They're purple. The gloves, purple. The jacket, purple. Even includes a little dog tag. Which to me, it looks like one of those John Cena dog tags that uh, you get from the John Cena elites. Um... Gonna do a three rotate, Ro I mean a three sixty rotate spin or three sixty spin, and and I'm sorry if I can't speak that well because I nearly passed out before I filmed this video, so sorry about that. And wow, very well detailed, and yes. Eddie Kingston does have a Walmart exclusive, which um, I did not get. But anyway, guys, hope you guys, um, well, this figure is going to get a review out of a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, yes, I'm doing another unboxing on a Happy Meal toy. And yes, the toy is actually in a box, like the toy itself. And I got this three days ago in the mail. Well, not in the mail. I bought it from eBay three days ago. I think it's one of the Crash Team Rumble toys from two weeks ago. Because, yes, they just released these two weeks ago at McDonald's. Uh, but anyway, can't wait to show you guys what it is. So, um, yep, but, and no, it's not in a, a baggie like those other Happy Meal toys are in. These are actually in a box, which I will prove to you guys in 3, 2, 1. So here it is, uh, only got a toy for Crash and 
Dingle Dial Plush. And yes, it's from Crash Team Racing. So we're going to see what it looks like out of the box in three, two, one. Okay, guys. So here it is. We got Crash and Dingadial. I don't remember his name, but this review is going to get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yep, we're doing another new in Mayhem uh, video. So, yes, I did do an unboxing on the Leonardo action figure last week. We got the Qtopia plush. I think these are the 5 inches one. Again, I saw these at Walgreens. Um, and, yep, uh, I think they were like $6.99. Which, on Target, they're like $5.99. I was like, that makes zero cents but here he is um i know some of y'all are going to be wondering what is qtopia it's basically like the mattel's uh version of the squishmallows which they have like marvel star wars disney mutant mayhem but let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks like without the tag on and three two one also, letting guys know this, this review and the other unboxings I did, it, like, for the last two unboxings, are going to be for January's compilation and January's unboxings. So, this plushie is going to get a, a review. It's going to get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, okay, guys. Yes, I did show you guys... The movie right here I got for Christmas yesterday. Uh, some of y'all have been wondering why I didn't actually unbox it yesterday. Because, well, I was busy yesterday. Uh, I went back to bed till like 12 in the evening yesterday. Because I've been up since like 5.30 this morning and all that. So, yes, we are unboxing the Blu-ray Plus DVD of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Uh, you can see Leo, Raph, Mikey, Donnie. Um, and it includes Calabunga. Over 40 minutes of totally awesome extras. Here's the front, the side, the back, the side again. And anyway, let's go ahead and take the wrap off, shall we, and see what we got. So here we go. Okay, guys. So here's the Blu ray. And here is the art of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem book that released like three months ago. And a little promotion figures. Which, we did take a look at Leo, Le <laughs> Leonardo. I'm sorry if I can't speak that well, because I am pretty tired. Two weeks ago. And, I'm not going to show you guys the code. But, here is some of the other movies you could get. Like, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. Transformers. The 2014 movie in Dungeon and Dragons. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for another unboxing tomorrow or whenever. But still, like, comment, subscribe. But before I end this video, yes, this is going to be part of January's unboxings. Because I already got done with December's unboxings already. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, it's been two weeks since I did a basic series unboxing. I think it was on the Rain Mysterio one that got broke that I remade from a year ago, which was Sunday of two weeks ago. So, yep, um, gonna move my um, box cutter here. 
So, yep, we got the Basic Series 139 John Cena. Here's the back. You can get Hulk Hogan, Pat McAfee, Matt Riddle, who is no longer with WWE because uh, he's making his return to MLW, and Liv Morgan. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of the box, shall we? In 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, so here he is out of the box. Um, he got the head swivel. No, the hat does not come off, sadly, but what's really cool, I can show you guys his little armband here. So you guys see his little armband? If I could zoom in, if the camera will focus. His armband is removable. Pretty cool, right? Okay, guys. So, this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. Why for this John Cena figure? Um, one, removable armband. Sadly, the hat is not removable either. But, hey, it's a perfect, uh... Gift for a John Cena collector who collects John Cena figures. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yes, uh, just letting you guys know, yes, I got this plushie for Christmas. And I know this is like the one thing y'all, my hero fans, want to see. So, yes, it's been, like, three months since I did a My Hero Academia plushie unboxing. I want to say it was, like, around, like, September, which was on the Funko Araka plush. And I gotta say, and yes, this is actually her UA training outfit with, uh, the same face scan and all of that from the other plushie, like the hero outfit one. So yes, uh, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag. Cause, um, yes, it's kind of like an unboxing. Cause I have, I had this in the bag for like since Christmas. So let's just go ahead and get her, get her out of the bag. Shall we? In three, two, one. Alrighty guys, here she is out of the bag. She got the pink shoes, the John Cena wristbands. But yes, uh, let's go ahead and take the tag off and give it a review. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So here she is with all the plushie. I mean, not the plushie, I mean the tag. And yes, this will be part of January's unboxings. Like, for one of the, the compilation parts. And the full January unboxing compilation. But, anyway guys, this plushie is going to get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay guys, so yes, this is going to be an unwrapping video on another Happy Meal toy. Um, yes, I know I did an unboxing like this morning. But I want to do one today, well... Mostly unwrapping, because, you know, it was a Happy Meal toy from 2020. And just letting you guys know, yes, this will be part of January's unboxing compilation for next month. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this out and see what it is. Three, two, one. So, I got the Disney Pixar Happy Meal toy keychains. So, we got Toy 5 from Inside Out. Joy. Uh, yes, I talked about the movie, like, in two videos, which was a month ago. But this was, this, ugh. I'm sorry if not, I'm not speaking that well. But this released three years ago at McDonald's. So let's go ahead and get her out of the bag. Shall we? Okay, guys. Here she is out of the bag. And this... Uh, review this unwrapping is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.
So, yes, guys, I am doing another Qtopia review. Now, the one I did was like 10 days ago, which was Leonardo from Mutant Mayhem, which was last week. We reviewed that one. And this one we're going to review, yep, Spider Man. Uh, so, yep, uh, the, uh, little Rebs and the outfit is just printed, print, print on, like, printed on the plushie. The limbs, like, the little limbs are, like, stitched up, but yep, uh, anyway, guys, so here is the back, the front, and let's go ahead and take the tag off and give it a review, and three, two, one, I thought I paused it, hold on, and if y'all want to know how I got this one, I also Got it from Walgreens, too, yesterday. And, yes, this plushie is going to get a 100 out of a 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'm sorry if I'm not speaking, like, the right words that well. Because, well, I kind of go a little too fast. And I'm sorry for that. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so, I bought this from Mikari, and yes, it's actually going to be a Funko Dorbs related, because it's been two years since I made a video about Dorbs, but anyway, guys, uh, let's see who I get in three, two, one. Okay, guys, so we got the... Funko Dorbs Funko Shop Exclusive Number 493 Captain America If you can and tell uh yes this is actually from Endgame uh there's only three figures in the set you get Captain America Hulk and Thanos So anyway uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box. Okay, guys. So, here he is out of the packaging. Um, yes, this is actually his, um, time-traveling suit from the movie. Uh, I have not seen... I've seen a little bit of in-game a little bit. And, yes, they put a lot of details on the figure. But I don't get why they didn't, like, sculpt, like, engraved the A. But I guess they didn't have time to do that. Now, let's go ahead and give it a review. I'm going to give it a 100 out of 100. But, yes, guys, again, it's been two years since I did a Dorbs unboxing. I think it was on the Iron Spider one from Infinity War. But again, uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, Selena said in my next plushie unboxing, I could unbox Applejack, which that's what I'm doing right now. So, Selena, thank you for... Um, the suggest suggestion I don't know how you say I know how to say suggest but the other word is hard to explain but uh thanks for the request on the unboxing well she didn't actually request the unboxing I actually request her to see who I could unbox like Rarity or Applejack she chose Applejack 
So I might unbox Rarity like tomorrow or after New Year's. So anyway, let's go ahead and get a little Applejack out of the bag, which um, is literally an unboxing, so eh. Okay, guys, so here she is out of the bag. Uh, look at the little tail. She got a little cute bow on it. So, let's go ahead and take the little tag off and give it a review, shall we? In three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. Here is Apple Jack without the tag on. And this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another video and happy Monday. Also, happy New Year's Day, everybody, for 2024. So, yep, I know y'all are a bit excited for this. The WWE Mattel Basic Series 142 Hulk Hogan. Um, yes, I found this really weird to find him wearing blue. Because he normally wears red and yellow. But I think blue is a good color for him. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box. In three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, here he is out of the box. And no, the shirt is not removable. But yes, um, I like the new articulation, like I said. Because, well, the ba the old big basics, because you can see they got the pegs and the elbow joints and the feet. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So yes, um... Hulk Hogan here came with one little accessory. It's like his little headband, which I didn't know it was removable. And yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, this review is going to get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and have a great new year. Okay, guys. So, yes, um, I... I'm getting a chance to unbox the Rarity plush. Because two days ago... Actually, no, wait. Three days ago, I unboxed Applejack. And here we are with Rarity. So, yep. Uh, here she is in the bag. And let's go ahead and get Rarity out of the bag. In three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, guys, so yes, this is a Toy Factory plush, just like the Applejack and Rainbow Dash one I reviewed. So, yep, uh, pretty well, pretty nice detailed. Pretty cute. Um, yeah, very, very well detailed. Now... Let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on. And three, two, one. Here is Rarity without the tag on. And no, you can't move her hair at all. Like, see, I was on this side. You can't move it, move it at all because, uh, well, yeah, it's sewed. On pretty well, but anyway, this plush unboxing is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. 